everyone, welcome back to the channel or welcome into the channel if it's your first time here. I'm Aurelia and I'm a full-time active duty military member as well as a part-time content creator here on YouTube and on Twitch. And today I'm gonna to be starting Mass Effect live on Twitch for the first time. And by first time, I mean basically first time. I just wanted to let you guys know that I started this game a few years ago and I played for a couple hours and then I never touched it again. And honestly, I don't remember any fucking thing about this game. I will just be upright with you. I don't remember any of the characters, the setting, the music, the vibe. I don't even remember if we created a character or if we were playing as one of the story people. I literally don't remember a thing. So that's that. I'm going in blind. I don't know anything. I am really hyped for it because I know this is a sci-fi game. You guys have told me it's sci-fi and that it's decision-based. A little bit so that's scary for me because i suck at decision based games yet i persist and i continue to play them and i haven't touched sci-fi in a long time um my first story game was actually cyberpunk in 2022 i know i first story game I'm, I'm a little bit of a baby gamer um and so it feels really cozy to be jumping back into where i started and i've done a lot of growth as a content creator since then and so when i streamed that game it was really difficult for me to balance, to find that balance between chatting with the community and paying attention to the story because I didn't even know how to play a story game, let alone juggle that fine line. And I feel like we've gotten a few more games under our belts since then, and you guys are really excited for me to play this, and so am I. So I am gonna be streaming this live on Twitch, and just so y'all know, I'm not cutting out the chatting. Um, alerts are gonna be on but I've tried to make them as not um, as not invasive to like the story immersion as possible. But I do still want to interact with the community and have you guys there while we play this game and experience it together. So if you're into that kind of thing, you're always welcome to catch me live on twitch.tv slash Aurelia because I am still a streamer. However, um, if you're not into that kind of thing, I do have games available and playthroughs to watch such as The Last of Us and Red Dead Redemption where I'm either playing them offline or there's no chat and things like that. So I'm really looking forward to it. That's all I have for the exposition, getting to know me a little bit and I'm looking forward to getting to know you guys. I've got my coffee. I'm ready for chaos and without further ado, let's get into it. So these are like the canon characters. I mean, they're both hot. However, Oh, quick start. I'm gonna do a custom build. To access your profile. Shepard. Oh, okay, so Shepard is like the thing. Very cool. Sexy space lady. Oh my. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Wow. Confirm pre-service history. Wow, okay. It's like that, huh? So like, we are reconstituting our entire being. So Spacer, both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood has was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. You were born and raised on Mindor, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindor, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Jesus, this is intense. You were an orphan raised in the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the alliance military when you turned 18. So is the character I'm making now apply throughout like the rest of the games? Like, is everything connected? And how much does your pre-service history play into you as a character? Yes? Oh, shit. It's all connected. So like, what is this? Is this something that's gonna change all of the things? Like in Cyberpunk, you can be one of the Arasaka bougie people where you can be like a nomad like is this the same kind of concept just certain things certain quests and interactions based on your background okay cool got it so don't lose sleep over this decision both of your parents were in the military you followed in their footsteps you were 16 when the slavers raided 
join the military. Orphan raised on the streets. Enlisted with the military to escape the world of crime. Role playing purposes. Because now that you said that these things transfer over three games, I feel like there's so much weight on my shoulders. <laughs> Confirm psychological profile. Okay, so. God, all right. Soul Survivor, War Hero, Ruthless. My parents were in the military, therefore I am joining the military. We, we picked the basic bitch decision. It's fine. Too much pressure. During your service, a mission you went on her horribly... Okay, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you are lo left alone to tell the tale. Earlier in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the fleet. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule, get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always gets to you first, goes to you first. Fuck. I'm between these two. Why would my backstory of, like, being a military brat make me, like, get the job done? This is totally something that goes, like, this ruthless profile goes along with, like, someone who was raised in the streets, like, getting the job done. Like, wow, well, I moved a lot of, around a lot as a child, you know? Like, I never really stayed in one spot. Anyways, I'm gonna fucking murder people because I have to. Like, oh, that is not a line in my head, like, lore-wise. <laughs> it's kind of a mismatch. I like the idea of getting the job done. We kind of play a badass. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I, I I feel it. After hearing that description, that completely changes my thought. I was like, I'll just play it passive. I'll be like normal military girl. I kind of want to be a badass now. That's inspired me. I have a new vigor. When I was 16, my parents died. Oh, I'm getting into character now. I enlisted with the military. And I get the job done. Got it. Done. Earthborn, Earthborn. You guys think Earthborn? Orphan or my parents were... So All right. Earthborn, Ruthless. Final decision. Slapping the table. No more changes. That's what we're doing. Fuck it. All right. Okay, more choices. Good, 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 good. Soldiers are combat specialists, ideal for the front lines of a firefight. Soldiers have improved health, can specialize in the use of all weapon types, start with the ability to wear medium armor, and can train in the use of heavy armor. Tech specialists use the holographic omni tool, and they can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. Engineers can only wear light armor, and they specialize in pistols. I do like pistols, so this is appealing. I do like big, big... Kapow guns also, but I like the idea of being able to heal and carrying light weaponry. Adepts? Adept? Adept. Biotic specialists. Un through upgradable implants, they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only wear light armor and specialize in pistols. Infiltrators can combine... Combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools, focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. Specialize in pistols or sniper rifles and wear medium <laughs> armor. <laughs> Stealthy! Thank you for the 10 months. Welcome back in. How are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, potatoes. Hello, hello. Hi, Tyron. Hi, Horn. 
Sentinel, Biotic, and Tech. Typically, they use Biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies, though they can also disrupt opponents with use of Biotic or Tech attacks. B, thank you for the gift sub to Potatoes. Potato, enjoy your gift sub. Thank you so much, B. That's very sweet of you. And Black Mage, thank you for the tier one sub. Welcome to the community. I appreciate that. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. You guys enjoy the emotes, ad free viewing. Welcome to the Panda Pack, y'all. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, tech and biotics and other classes, but at the expense of combat. Ooh, I do like combat, though. I don't like the idea of being a support character as, like, my main OC. Vanguards are biotic warriors. Combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents and are especially deadly at short range. Pistols and shotguns and wear medium. Ooh. This one is sexy to me. This is sexy to me. I remember in Cyberpunk, I hated, like, doing too much. It was always annoying having to switch between, like, hacking stuff and whatever. Like, I, like it, it, I don't know how to explain this besides I don't like adding too many layers because I'm already, like, pretty decently new to gaming. So, like, I don't like stacking on, like, oh, on top of combat, you also have to learn how to modify technical vehicles and armored personnel carriers like let's hotwire cars and china i don't know i like to keep things simple like the kiss rule keep it simple stupid you know what i mean Just pistols and shotguns like come on baby this is so me um, facial identification no uh ooh Pale. I'm pale. Ooh. Completely smooth. I'm a model. Girthy. Oh, yeah. I want those Angelina Jolie cheeks. Oh, yeah. Maleficent. I do not know what ear size... Ear size matters. Orientation. Oh, Jesus. Kind of look freaky. All right, that's fine. Look at them cheekbones. Sheesh, she can cut glass with those. Oh my god! <laughs> She's seen some shit. Raised on the streets. Jesus. Nice. I'm digging this. Oh, yeah. Hey, yo, girl. Hell yeah. She kind of cute, though. Oh, I like the black short hair. It's such a hot sci-fi thing. Like, the chick from Tron, was it? She could ruin my life.
Godless Dane, thank you for the 10 months. Welcome back in. How are you? Thank you, thank you. How are you doing? Thank you guys for the follows as well, buddy and skin. Damn, she's looking good. Oh shit, them brows. Ooh, the red's kind of cool too. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Dane. Man, sending you all the love. Can we get some love in the chat? We are here for you. We are here for you. Yeah, thank you guys. Really weird lip color. It's like on the outsides, but not on the inside. <laughs> nice. All right, she's done. What do you guys think? That would be a very nice, Dane. I hope that that is... And that is exactly how everything goes and it goes smoothly. That's good news. That was surprisingly fast. Dude, I speed ran that shit. I know what I like, okay? I don't have a type at all. I just... What? Why are you guys surprised at how fast that took me? I didn't exactly know what I... Listen, chat. I will not be having judgment from the peanut gallery, okay? I don't want to talk about it. Profile reconstruction <laughs> complete. Hell yeah. Earthborn, Ruthless, Vanguard. Oh, fuck me up, dude. I am ready. She looks good. Hell yeah, I'm ready. Absolutely nothing worse than normal. Points are automatically assigned. Nope. I can a squad. I probably want to manually assign my points so they don't go into categories I don't want. 1 to 60 level range will be used instead of the new 1 to 30 level range. Legendary mode? I'll probably do Legendary, because I'm doing the Legendary Edition, so I want everything to be pretty seamless. Hi, lovers, and Dakota, thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. I think I'm happy with whatever this is. Um, also, we're probably going to have small cutscenes, but then the game well, is going to be ultra-wide. Born, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. 
learned to look out for herself. Oh my god, this is so cool. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Oh shit. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2140, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of this galaxy call it Mass Effect! Woo! <laughs> Fuck yeah, baby. Let's go. I just got goosebumps. Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander? We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. Dude, this music! The relay is hot, acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Oh my gosh! Looks so hot. Approach run has begun. Oh my god, this is so cool. I'm geeking out right now. Hitting the relay. Hi, Sophie. Three, two, one. Thrusters. Check. Navigation. Check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. <laughs> Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. Ooh. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I agree. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting off. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the map. That's not what I meant. Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed. That's not what I meant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I heard. I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> wow, okay, yeah, there it goes. 1440. Hell yeah. Escape and open the journal to view your updated mission objectives. Lieutenant Commander Shepard, Executive Order on the SSV Normandy. Hi, Kerrigan. Hi, Lord Satan. Small bit of advice. Already? I just started. What am I already fucking up? <laughs> what do I already need advice on? I... Am I... Uh, what? <laughs> what could I possibly need advice on? I literally just opened the game. Put that away, put that away. Jesus. Stop! I just wanted to uh, interact. Stop it! Ah! Rally round. Okay, H for holster. Got it. Yeah, I just want to talk to him.
Oh, what's the... Turn up the audio? Yeah, sure. E for talk. I accidentally had it to 15. Oh, that was too quiet for you guys. You're telling me you couldn't hear it? Wow. I'm just kidding. Whoops. Okay, uh, E. I'll be watch I'll be posting these to YouTube, XWP. Hello? Oh, space. Waiting for you in the com room, Commander. Thanks. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. <laughs> okay, glad it took me 20 years to. Getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Spectre. Easily. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Yeah, what I meant by that earlier with that dialogue option was like, I agree, you can't always trust the headlining story. Did not to say I don't trust the Spectre guy. I don't know him. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. That was a crisp salute. To see the captain? He wants to see me. I heard you arguing. Uh, I don't put up with bullshit. Sounds like you don't trust Arturian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Mm -hmm. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Just do your job. I'm just kidding. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre? A Turian Spectre on a shakedown run. It doesn't add up. Hmm. So sending their elite, like, covert operative on this shakedown. Something, like, minor? All right. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing. It just doesn't line up. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size <laughs> Damn. If you don't send a soldier like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Hi, Mr. Something Jones. Big is going on. Thanks, Spencer. Thanks for the follow, M and Raymond. Welcome in, y'all. It's still very quiet. Okay, I can. Uh, I'll turn it up again after this. Okay. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. <laughs> lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. So you just hate them? Plus, he's a specter. Jesus! Da -da -da. Up dog! Thank you for the six month in advance subscription. That is very kind of you to subscribe that much in advance. Can we get some red panda blankies out, please, for the new sub? Welcome in, enjoy the vibes. Nice to meet you. I don't feel like prying into this guy's life, but that was long ago. Years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board, especially a Turian. We're an alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. Yeah, they're special ops. They don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security. So there's some tomfoolery Plus, going on. It's pretty obvious the shakedown run is just a cover. Plus it's Nihilus, so we got Nihilus, who's the Turian Spectre. Spectre is his race, Turian is his alliance, I guess. Who is a special operative along with a bunch of stealth systems and a fully stocked crew going on a minor shakedown. It's just a cover. Just do your job. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. Get shit on. All right. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. 
There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. <laughs> Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. <laughs> Part of the job, Doc. Doctor's right. Fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before. Not one with a Spectre on board. Investigate. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. So Turian is his race, then. I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. What's Spectre, then? Is that, like, his rank or something? Santi, thank you for the tier one three months in advance. I appreciate that. Welcome to the community. I'm so glad you're enjoying the vibes. Welcome to the Panda Pack, where we have cats, coffee, and chaos. Nice to have you here. And you just followed a minute ago. Yeah, you just followed, and you just subbed. What the heck? That's awesome. Thanks so much. What do you know about the Spectres? Okay, yeah, the Spectres. What I've heard. Spectre agents work oh, it is his rank! The Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Yeah, 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 so they're like... Spectres don't have any official power, though. Navy SEALs! Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. But in space. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. There are no human Spectres? Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races. Like the Turians. Oh. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Fascinating. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. What you did on Torfin, that's what they're looking for. Success at any cost, mm. ruthless efficiency, show no mercy. Interesting. So we're going to Eden Prime then, what's You're that? Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. And we're going on a mission there? On the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. So then why are we going there? Yeah, you create your own character. I just made her. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really and Gato, sure, thanks for the follow. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. Huh. There's gotta be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. <laughs> That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. Damn. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. There's no rush. Young corporal, you have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. Okay, kiddo. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, commander. Oh yeah. Hi, Ravier. Hell yeah. We're renegating it. We're a badass. I was gonna play normie, but we got everything we need to know. I think. We know about his race, Turian, and then we know that his rank is Spectre, which is like the special ops guy. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. He's also, he also looks like a badass, like the red with the paint. Like, this is awesome. This is a, I'm playing the Legendary Edition, so it's a VHD like remake. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I wouldn't know. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. 
But how safe is it really? What's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. <gasps> oh my god, shock! I am shocked! Duh. Uh, question. The guy that voices Nihilus, is he the guy from Coraline? Does he voice the black cat? Voice actor. Alistair... What? What? Keith David is the black cat. Their voices are pretty similar. Hi, Ubidi. Hi, Halbrick. Huh. Voices Captain Anderson. Is that who I was thinking about? One of them sounds like the black cat from Coraline. Okay, anyways, oh, we'll, we'll get back to it. Simple shakedown run. That's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on you. Yeah, this guy, this guy. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Captain Anderson, not Nihilus. Sorry, I don't know these people yet. Keith David, yeah, 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 yeah. Duh, I recognize that voice anywhere. Here he is. No, I'm not the other anything. I'm me. Um, I. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. <sighs> We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we need the stealth systems operational. What are we picking up? What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. Huh. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. You sound worried. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. Mm-hmm. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Evaluating me for the Spectres, I was eh? When I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just followed and subscribed on Twitch, but I've been a fan of your YouTube channel. Aw, thanks, Santi. That's very sweet of you. Welcome to the community. I'm glad you could catch a stream. Hell yeah. That is awesome. Welcome in, welcome in. That makes my heart happy. What's the next step? Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Why is this beacon so important? 
All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. Mm. That was just a small data cache. I mean, they said a jump technology 200 years in the future. A weapons archive. We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups mm. active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Covertly? Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. Yeah, I mean... The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Got it. I think I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Oh, fuck. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Ah, yes, very peaceful. Most peaceful place in the galaxy. traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 mm -hmm. status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated oh shit Small team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon Let's go. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Dude, this is insane. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Hell yeah. Dude, this is so cool. Like, the the coolest thing so far is how you jump in and it instantly makes you feel important. Like you are the commander of this vessel. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Or a captain on the your vessel. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head yeah, straight to the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. And we're going on this mission. Pilots, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! Dude. We are approaching drop point two. Like, you're the commander of this vessel. You're going on a special mission to be evaluated to be a specter. Ship perimeter secure, commander. Dude. <laughs> this is so cool, like... This place got hit hard, commander. Eh. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Yes, I've already learned that on the ship. Uh, let me turn the sound up as well, because you guys said it was quiet. So cool. Chinook, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Smells like smoke and death. Weapons to overheat. What the hell are those? Oh. I need to lower the sensitivity a little bit. Oh, okay. Avenger, sniper guy. Okay. 
I think I was good at shotguns and pistols for my class. I went Vanguard. Hell yeah, brother. Hi, Rocker. Welcome in. Oh, what's this? Hardened weave. Oh, okay, so Omni Gel is like a crafting thing or something. You can probably spend on upgrades. So do I already have that equipped then? Throw. Warp, okay. Oh, and they have their own things too. Okay, so this is my squad that it was talking about. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Can I... Okay, so it looks like there's no jump because spacebar is interact. <clears throat> and there's no sprint either. Hi, Pixie, welcome in. And I can switch squad weapons, too. Yeah, no tips or tricks, please, in the chat. I want to figure things out on my own for my first time. I know you guys know a lot about this game and are just trying to help, but... I will simply ignore it. Not because I hate you. Even if you think it might not be a spoiler, it's still, like... Teaching me things, if that makes sense. Fuck, this is so pleasing. This system. Take out those hostiles. Anna, thank you for the 21 months. How are you? Hello, hello. Wavy, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. <gasps> no. We can't help him now. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that meeting. The recovery was secondary. Aye, aye, Direct orders from the captain. Meta, welcome in. Big old thickums over here. Yeah, thick boys. And Medi Gel is heal injured squad members. Omni Gel is used to bypass decryption and electronics challenges. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening containers. Okay, so when we reduce when we reduce stuff to Omni Gel, it's useful. For decryption. Okay, V is for Medigel. Cool, 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 cool. Lurking whilst I eat. Ooh, enjoy your meal. Bone apple. Teeth. God damn, this combat's so sexy. Oh, that's so fun. Use a squad screen to improve your team's abilities. Trying to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay, so then I can go to my squad. Oh, this is real intricate. I have not played a game like this before. All my games I've played, I mean, this is still single player, but like I never have had to um, work between different people. This is so cool. Raj, thank you for the 17 months. How are you? Hi, Ada One. Hi, Kalon. Jota, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. And Wavy, thank you guys. And Razorhorn, thank you for the gift sub. Thanks so much. You guys are very sweet. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome in. Grab a seat. Get cozy. So view your team's talents. Mouse over a talent or, or its rank to view it. Click on a talent to spend the point to gain a rank in it. As you gain levels, you acquire talent points and unlock higher ranks. Fuck me up. So you have to do this for everybody in your squad? Okay, okay. So we're Vanguard. Uh, increasing our ability, biotic protection, our damage. Oh, okay, so it's like a blanket level up. That's really cool for both biotic protection and damage. Charm, new dialogue. Ooh. I want to go ahead and heighten this intimidate factor. And I want pistols to get this marksman ability thing. And then assault training to get the adrenaline burst, whatever that is, I, I think I want it. And then we got this bozo. I really don't care. I'm just gonna have him do shit 
that I don't want to do. Heal. <laughs> Thanks. Increases the amount of Omni Gel recovered. Sounds good. This guy's my little bitch. All right. I mean, my teammate. Anyways, uh. Hostile workplace already. Left shift to issue orders to your squad or use Z attack your target. Civic squad to make move to a point. Throw him? Oh, I can have him throw some. Throw Caden. All right. Hi, Bolivie. Hi, Moss Dino. Welcome in, y'all. Eh. Big Chungus. Is there a cover button? Like, take cover? Fuck! Whoa, whoa, whoa. No! Oh, Jesus. Cool, 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 cool. Thanks for your help, Commander. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one who charged your ma'am? What happened Give here? Me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Vontor, thank you for the two month resub. Welcome back in. Welcome, welcome. What happened to your unit? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. You abandoned them. Jesus, what's wrong with people? What killed any them? Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They're after the orb. They must have come orb. the beacon. Beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Take us there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Let's go. Move out! The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Armor piercing. Light armor, sure. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All my ammo and stuff. Oh, shit, so... This is a mega upgrade. Nice. I think. What was this? Yeah, like a little upgrade. Okay, and then this guy. And her. 
And then... Squad. She got two points. Sweet. <laughs> Jesus. What did she call them? The Goths? The Girth? Run to the waypoint to take cover. Okay, so there is cover automatically. Moving up to the rock with your weapon drawn. Oh, I see. Neat. Edge of cover and press the left mouse button to fire. Hold right mouse button to lean out and aim. Awesome. Approach a low object will make you crouch to take cover behind it. Press left control to manual toggle crouch. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, a grenade. I was like, why does it want me to kill this rock? Did it want me to grenade the... Rock? Ow. <laughs> Peekaboo, bitch! <laughs> bitch! Oh god, the girth invasion! Anything but that! Shotgun, assault rifle. Okay, I'll take all of them. Oh, God! What a sight to see! Um... Alright, did we get everything? The damn girths! <laughs> ah, the geth! I was close. Okay, so there is like a little fast sprint button. This is the dig site. The Thanks for the stretch! right here, it must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Not Hard the Girth! Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Impaling victims instead of just shooting them. There must be some reason behind it. Yeah, what could that be? Psychological warfare. They're using terror as a weapon. We haven't seen them in 200 years and they start impaling people. I'd be a little afraid. Earthborn Vanguard. Thank you, Deathlad. That man was still alive when they stuck him on the spike. Killing us isn't enough. The Geth want us to suffer. Hmm. Yeah, this is brutal. And thanks for the hydrate as well, Vagabond. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Well, I already play like a maniac normally when I play video games, so I thought it would be a little bit fun and like out of my comfort zone to play a character that's kind of a badass instead of like, haha, I'm normal. You know, like, I feel like it's fun to push. I like to play like as myself, which is pretty normal, I guess. I'm not a hard ass when I talk to people in real life, so like pushing my personality out of my normal comfort zone is really fun in games. Playing a character, if you will. Jesus. Darpaz, thank you for the 11 months. Jesus. Necromancy? Cyberpunk zombies? How are you, Darpaz? Oh my god, it's a husk! Ah, look at him! Look at him go! Look at him! 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 Go. Look at him, go. Look at him. Wee! Ring around the rosy. Look at that little guy. He's just being a little dude. Yoo-hoo! Where'd he go? Oh shit, where'd he go? Oh sh lord, he coming! Ah! I'm gonna switch to a shotgun. 
Can I switch my gun? Please. Hey. Look at that fucking guy. Look at that little guy. Look at that fucking guy. Oh, now it lets me switch. Of course it does now. Yeah, I'll stick to this shotgun. Oh my god. Jesus, they're fucking zombies. <sighs> I don't know. I'm just gonna take everything for now and reduce it later. I don't know my ass from my elbow right now in this game, so... I'm not even gonna attempt to, like... Try to figure my loot out. Well, that didn't work. All right, that was worth a try. Easy decryption. Oh! Kumquat, whatever his name was. Keith? You're the decryption boy. Move the mouse to move around the ring. Left click the right click to move inward outward. Ah! Fuck. Oh. That was it. Okay. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Who is this? Humans. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. What happened? How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. <laughs> goodbye. What a, what a place to leave him at. He's like having an emotional breakdown. All right, goodbye. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. Huh? That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. What? Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. I come and the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. Dude, this isn't the time. Manuel is going through it right now. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Okay. Huh. Just shoot him. Put that guy out of his misery. Someone. Why is everyone sussy on Nihilus? Sarah. Nihilus is our friend. 
This guy. Madness. On the other hand. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. What? I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Saren is Geth. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <gasps> no! What? Look at the size of it. What the fuck? I need the fucking big gun. I can't touch it again for some reason. I need these guys to just kill each other. Coward. Who are you? What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. Fuck. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friends seem to relax. He let his guard down. Fuck. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. I mean, I'm glad. I mean, he is a coward, but I'm glad I didn't call him one because he gave us useful information. Uh. Then what? Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. Jesus. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. They didn't find you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? Right. They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? <laughs> I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I mean... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. Wow. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Bruh. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. <laughs> they must have been and inside this the is a... ship. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. So this is a sign to take naps? We need to find that beacon before it's too late. At work? Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. All right. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yeah. Tough day. All right. Whoa. Oh, right here. What's up, brother? Pistol, pistol, pistol. Hi, Julian. Hi, Black Crown. Hi, Lucky. How are you guys doing? Welcome in. Get comfy. Left shift to bring up the power wheel. Powers and special abilities of your squad. Warp. Throw and warp. Oh 
Oh my god, that's a big chungus. Who the fuck are you? Oh my fucking god. That was a big boy. Dummy thick. <laughs> all right, Caden's all right. He's not doing great, but he's fine. He's fine. Baby, we got two enemies right here. Yeah, that guy was built, that big boy. Are there going to be sexy aliens in this game? Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Is this how the obsession with fucking aliens came from? Anyways, we don't have to go there. You're too young, chat. Oh my... Star Trek. Oh shit. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Oh snap, okay. Where are these bozos at? Alright, I'm not landing any of these shots. Let's go. There's one on my left. There we go. Field? Shock Trooper? Okay, hold on. I want to learn how to use my abilities. Oh. Found it. Not the middle of a fight! There we go, baby. Jammed? My radar's jammed? That's both inconvenient, but also pretty cool. What, is she shooting at me? Bitch. I know our radar's getting jammed, but it's not that confusing. I'm right in front of you. Quit it. Sure. Jesus. Nice. Uh, did I miss anything over here? Any fun loot boxes? Nothing.
Hell yeah, retro. Good old bomb disposal objectives. <laughs> Standing next to a bomb and pressing A. It's the mm, little things in life, you know? What the fork? Get your big booty over here. This big dummy. Ah! Explodey boy, explodey boy, explodey boy. All right, before we do that, let me, uh... Hi, Flippa. Retro things with the follow. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. All right. I suppose that's all we had to do over here. Not sure what accent that is, but... Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. Touches it, dies. They wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have acted. Hi, Mamba. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Oh, God. Don't touch it. Don't you fucking touch it. What? Shep. No, don't touch it. It's too Hey, yo. The end. Oh shit, we get to see it from the bad guy sign. <clears throat> Mommy? We identified the ship that touched down. Literally, the matriarch. The Normandy, a human alliance vessel. Mommy. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. <sighs> Oh, he mad. This human must be I didn't have an alien thing, but I do now. The boobas are boobing right now. Doctor? Doctor Chakwas. I think she's waking up. Okay. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Not great. Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. What about the beacon? Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Was I hurt? What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Science typically associated with intense dreaming. Beta brainwaves. I only welcome alpha brainwaves here. <sighs> More like a nightmare. I saw. I'm not sure what. I, I grew some. Death, destruction. Nothing's really clear. Yeah. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may. Oh. <laughs> Captain Anderson, 
How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Mm-hmm. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. No one asked, Kaden. <laughs> Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> Sorry, I'm so mean to him. Crumpet, thank you for the gift sub to Groove Sum. That's very sweet of you. Hope you're doing well, Groove Sum. Enjoy the gift sub. I'm fine. All these options. I'm fine. I'll live. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. We've got nothing to hide or I did my job. We've got nothing to hide. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turin. Fanto, thank you for the five bonds. One of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. Oh, you mean the angry guy on the a boat? Rogue Spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Uh, you mean the guy that was like a human touched the pillar, and he was like, "Oh God! Oh God! Disgusting filth! Ah!" That Why? guy. He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Do I want to be fully transparent with this guy or do I want to keep some things to myself? I mean, I don't have a reason to be un, un honest, dishonest. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? A warning. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. There's nothing to report. It was a vision, right? Hi, Jimmy. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream. Right. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Fuck. I mean, we need to give him, give them all the information we have to make them as equipped to fight this guy as possible. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Why would the Council believe us on this rogue guy when he's like one of their most loyal, trusted workers? Gonna make some food, get comfy, and watch me play this. Aw, that sounds very cozy. Enjoy. Please bring us back some food. <laughs> Ickle, thanks for the follow. And Danny, welcome in. That sounds very cozy. Caught it up with some food. Mmm. We expose him. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke his specter status. I don't know how we're gonna prove that though. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. I feel like this is just gonna he piss me off. See us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. I feel like this is gonna piss me off. They're not gonna listen to us. I mean, legitimately, like when you think about, this is a bad example, when you think in historical examples of like military members that have gone rogue or like people that are informers and stuff, like 
when people try to give warnings, like, these people are corrupted, they are not fit for work, they are not the people you think they are, that does not always go according to plan when you try to expose people for their wrongdoings. You know what I mean? Like, why would they listen to us? What proof do we have? What tangible evidence? Furious, thank you for the follow. Welcome. And he has a lot of power, too. Spectre seems to be, like, this fucking super high rank, so, like, who am I? A non-Spectre and then, like, this commander of a ship? Captain Anderson or whatever his name is? Like, how much clout does he have versus a Spectre on the council? Like, nonetheless, McLovin, thanks for the follow as well. And Ickle, very glad to hear it. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome in. Enjoy the vibes. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Good point. Let's give up now. Yeah, honestly, fuck it. This is a lost cause. Let's let the girth take over. This game is really pretty, by the way. Like, my eyes are just... This is gonna sound weird, but like, pleased. Just like watching it happen it's very pretty and then the sound is also awesome like all the okay, effects and the music as well commander i'm glad to see you're okay losing jenkins was hard on the crew and i'm glad we didn't lose you too yeah i wish i could have done something to save him i was there you did everything right it was just bad luck it's been a hell of a shakedown cruise our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. Yeah, talk about the that. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Seems like you've been around. You a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? Not important right now. Quit trying to get information out of me and suck up. Because of your family? I don't have one. I never met my parents. If they wanted to see me, they'd have contacted me after that mess a few years back. Oh, that's right. Torfin. Uh, messy business. I imagine that bought you a new post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel now. Can you, uh, tell me why? Yep, he's trying to leech. All your if orders. The captain thought you needed to know, he'd tell you. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Yeah, Caden. Stay in your lane. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. <laughs> yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. Dr. Chakwas is a freak. The stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as <laughs> I imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Any regrets? Think you made the wrong choice? I am GL. Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out Infidel, of the Infidel, thanks for the hydrate. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. They probably need it more than most. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. I mean, that's as good of a review you can get of any leader. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. An L2? A second lieutenant? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3. Oh! <laughs> Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. He's got the old model? What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Kaiden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Kaiden? 
Our homeboy's struggling. Jesus. Should go. Goodbye, Commander. Hi, Composer. How are you? We in space. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Soldiers die. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. When your number comes up, it's over. Is did. That's grim, Commander. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, though. Not after Torfin. I must have been hell. <laughs> you start to enjoy it? Jesus! I did what I had to do. You'd better be willing to do the same. I won't let the Alliance down, sir. Yeah, you start to really like the murder, you know? Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. Yeah. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Don't disappoint me. Everyone on this ship has to do his or her part, Williams. Remember that. <laughs> Understood, ma'am. Woo. Just because I made you feel welcome doesn't mean I can't rip you down in a heartbeat, baby girl. Hello, humans. All right, no conversation to be had there. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. <sighs> What is this arrow on my mini-map? Hmm. Lucan and SD, thanks for the follows. Welcome in, y'all. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Oh? Ooh, the Citadel! A ship? Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? Firepower too. You need to know how to use it. Is all I'm saying. It's just some. Look at that monster. Just saying. This gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control. This is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. This is so ephemeral. Music. I want to cry. Transferring you to an Alliance operation. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy Hill. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. This is amazing. Wow. I think I meant to say ethereal, I just said ephemeral. Oh shit, this is part of the ship? This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. You're saying it's their Humanity fault? He was well aware <clears throat> of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make the right. of the exactly. Council, Ambassador. <clears throat> Citadel security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Hi, Bunami. You graduated Captain in 07? Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. 
in case you had any yeah, like witnesses. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate. They are. Sounds like you convinced the council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. That's exactly what I was saying. They don't have we don't have grounds to accuse their fucking top guy of being a bozo. You know what I mean? 07, did you guys graduate college or high school in 07? Wait, what? Microtox, hello. I graduated college and many years after that. Oofed. Pain. I'm a grandpa. Dude, this game is so pretty, Peach. And this remake, I can't even imagine what it looked like in 07, but like, this is badass. Yeah, high school was 07. Oh, this fucking guy. I graduated high school. I graduated college in 2020. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm playing uh, Red Dead Redemption on my own time now for YouTube, and then I'm going to be streaming through the Mass Effect series. They don't like him being accused of treason. Mm-hmm. It's the truth. They're blind. Do I tell him like it is? This guy doesn't seem like he wants to fuck around. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. All right. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. Yeah. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. Because he was shot by one of your top That's agents. Fault, not hers. You fucking then bozo. We better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. What? Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Bro. And that's why I hate politicians. Yeah, Ashley. Oh my gosh. That's insane. We have a map now. Pretty cool. And we're in the Citadel. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. And I think that's a good place to stop. We got a lot accomplished this episode. We discovered who our character is. We quite literally made her, found out her footing and who she is as a person and where she stands with her crew. And then we also embarked on this whole adventure with the crew, only to discover there's a lot of tomfoolery happening behind the scenes and trying to expose the corruption going on with this guy who is like a head specter on the council who has now traitorously turned his back on them. However, they don't believe us. Big surprise, and we're trying to validate our claims. So yeah, kind of loaded for a very first episode, but I'm loving this game so far. It feels linear, but also not linear at the same time. It's not quite open world because I don't feel like I'm running too much around, uh, too, too lost, too confused. So it's a really nice blend of like structure, but also freedom at the same time. And then the dialogue has made this game feel so seamless and it just, time has been flying by. So having a lot of fun. I hope you are too with our first, very first episode down and I can't wait to play more and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.